In this video, we're going to focus on finding the area and the perimeter of irregular shapes and figures. So let's start with an example. So let's say this section is 5 inches, or just simply 5. This part is 6, this part is 5, and this is 12. So let me just highlight specifically which parts are 5. And this part is 6, and here you have 12. Go ahead and find the area and the perimeter of this irregular shape. So let's start with the perimeter. All we need to do is find the length of this side and this side. So starting with the left side. Notice that it's simply 6 plus 5, or 11. So that's 11 units long. Now let's find the length of this side. So notice that we have 12 for the entire side, and then this section is 5. 5 plus some number must add up to 12. To find that number, it's just 12 minus 5. So therefore, this section has to be 7. So now that we know it's 7, we could find the perimeter. We just have to add up all the numbers. So it's going to be 5 plus 6, which is 11, plus 7, that's 18. 18 plus 12 is 30. 30 plus 11, that's 41, plus 5 is 46. So therefore, the perimeter of this figure is 46 units. Now, let's find the area of this figure. So let's turn this into two rectangles. So the area of this rectangle is simply length times width, 5 times 6. So it's 30 square units. Now the area of the second rectangle is also length times width. So it's 5 times 12, which is 60. Now to find the total area, we need to add up 30 plus 60. And 30 plus 60 is 90. So that's the area of this figure. Now let's work on another example. So let's say, actually let me draw a different figure. Let's say we have a rectangle attached to a semicircle and it measures 5 inches by 6 inches. Find the area and the perimeter of this figure. So let's start with the area. The area of the rectangle is left times width, which is going to be 30 square inches. Now what about the area of a semicircle? Notice that we have the diameter of the semicircle. The diameter is 6 inches long. So if the diameter is 6, the radius is half of that. Half of 6 is 3. Now the area of a complete circle is pi r squared. The area of a semicircle or half a circle is 1 half pi r squared. So it's going to be 1 half pi times 3 squared. Where 3 squared is 9, half of 9 is 4.5. And to get a decimal value, let's multiply 4.5 by 3.14. So this is going to be about 14.1. So that's the area of the semicircle. So the total area is 30 plus 14.1, or 44.1 square inches. Now I'm going to redraw the same figure. And this time, we're going to calculate the perimeter. So how can we find the perimeter of this figure? Well, if the top side is 5, the bottom side also has to be 5. The radius is still 3 units long. So this time, we need to find the circumference of the semicircle. The circumference of a complete circle is 2 pi r. 
for a semicircle, it's half of 2 pi r. So it's simply pi r. So that's going to be pi times 3. So 3.114 times 3, that's about 9.42. That's the circumference of the semicircle. So now to find the perimeter, we just have to add up the four values. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 6, that's 16. And 16 plus 9.42, that will give us the perimeter, which is 25.42 units. Let's work on another example. So let's say if we have a triangle attached to a rectangle. The rectangle is 8 by 4. The triangle has a height of 4 units. And let's say this side is 6 and this is 5. Let's find the area first. So the area of the rectangle is going to be length times width. So 8 times 4, that's 32. Now what about the area of the triangle? The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So the triangle has a base that's 8 units long and it has a height of 4 units. So it's going to be 1 half 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Half of 32 is 16. So that's the area of the triangle. So now the total area is going to be 16 plus 32, so it's 48 square units for the entire figure. Now the last thing we need to do is calculate the perimeter. If this side is 4, this side must be 4. So therefore, we need to add up all 5 sides. So it's going to be 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 8. 4 plus 5 is 9. 6 plus 4 is 10. 9 plus 10, that's 19. And so 19 plus 8 is 27. So therefore, it's 27 units long. So that's the perimeter of the figure. Now let's move on to our next example. Let's put a semicircle on top and a triangle on the bottom. So we're going to say this is 7, this part is 7, and 15, 12, and 9. So go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, and find the area and the circumference. I mean, not the circumference, but the area and the perimeter of this figure. So let's start with the area. Let's make a line. Now, if this side is 7 and this is 15, therefore, this section has to be 15 minus 7. So it's 8. since 7 plus 8 adds up to 15. So now we could find the area of this rectangle. It's going to be length times width, so 12 times 8. 12 times 8 is 96. We can also find the area of this rectangle as well. Now, we need to know how long the rectangle is. So notice that this side is 12 and this side is 7. Therefore this side must be the difference of 12 and 7, so it's 5. So let's put 5. So now we can find the area of that rectangle. It's going to be 5 times 7, which is 35 square units. Now we can find the area of the triangle. It has a height of 8 and a base of 9. 
So the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So that's 1 half 9 times 8. Half of 8 is 4. 4 times 9 is 36. So the area of the triangle is 36 square units. Now we could focus on the semicircle. The area of a semicircle is 1 half pi r squared. So we've got to find the radius. If the diameter is 5, the radius is half of 5, so it's uh, 2.5. 2.5 squared, that's about 6.25. If you multiply that by 3.14, that's going to give you about 19.625, and then times it by a half, this will give you an area of 9.8125, which I'm going to round it and say is about 9.8. So let's add up everything. 96 plus 35 plus 36 plus 9.8, that will give us a total area of 176.8. So that is the area of the figure. So now we need to find the perimeter. So first, let's find the circumference of the semicircle. We know the circumference is half of 2 pi r, or simply pi r. So it's going to be pi times 2.5. So 2.5 times 3.14 is um, excuse me is the circumference so that's going to be 7.85 units long now the only thing we need to do is find the hypotenuse of the right triangle we have a base of 9 a height of 8 and so to find the hypotenuse we can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared so 9 squared plus 8 squared that's equal to c squared 9 squared is 81 8 squared is 64 and if we add those two numbers, that's going to give us 145. So C is the square root of 145, which is about, it's 12.04, but we can, we'll write it just like that. So now we need to add up everything to find the perimeter. So we need to add 9, 12, 15, 7.85, 7, 7, 7, and 12.04. 12 and 9 adds up to 21, and then once you add 15, that's 36, and then plus 7.85, and then if you add 7 and 7, and then 12.04, you should get a perimeter of 69.89. At least that's what I got. I'm going to double check my numbers just to make sure I typed in everything correctly. But that should be it, 69.89. So now you know how to find the area and a perimeter of irregular figures. So just for review, here's some formulas you need to know. Let's say if you have a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is length times width. The perimeter is simply the sum of all four sides. It's 2L plus 2W. Next, if you have a triangle, the area of a triangle is base times height. And if you have a right triangle, if you need to find the missing side, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. And let's not forget to put the 1 half in front of the base times height for a triangle. Now the last other thing that we've considered is a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared, and its circumference is 2 pi. And keep in mind, the diameter is 2r. And pi, if you round it, is 3.14. Now, there are some other numbers after the 4, but in this example, we just kept it simple and used 3.14. For a semicircle, everything is half. The area is 1 half pi r squared. And the circumference is just pi r. But the diameter is still 
to R. So this is not going to change. So that's just a recap of some of the formulas that we've used in this video. So make sure you know those formulas if you have a test on this stuff.